Within the spectrum of folklore, monsters, and the unexplained, there are a number of different areas for examination, like UFOs, ghost hunting, or extrasensory perception. But I like to take a moment to look at three spears in particular, ones which have amounted to considerable confusion among them, namely cryptids, legendary creatures, and fearsome critters. Now, how does a cryptid become a cryptid? What makes a creature legendary? And what on earth is a fearsome critter? And when do the lines between them become a bit blurred? Welcome, travelers of the Hallow Woods. I'm Linwood S. Sharp, the director of Lumberwoods, a virtual folklore museum. And today I'll be briefly going over the what's what among these fabulous beasts. Starting with cryptids, a cryptid is an animal whose existence is unverified. Cryptids include the likes of Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster, El Chupacabra, Flatwoods Phantom, Mothman, and a whole host of countless others. While often surrounded in much folklore, a cryptid is not necessarily mythical, but at the same time, it is not necessarily real either. Again, cryptids are simply unverified. They are creatures whose existence has yet to be proven, and opinions are divided to their existence by a significant number of persons. But what separates cryptids from legendary creatures? like those monsters of old world mythology such as dragons, unicorns, centaurs, and the like. Well, in fact, back when such myths were being shaped and formed, nothing really. For the legendary creatures of today, were the cryptids of yesterday. Back when much of the world was unknown to outsiders, frequently travelers would bring back reports of strange lands full of extraordinary creatures. Many who heard these stories knew nothing of far-off lands and had no reason to doubt the existence of fantastical beings. So what happened? As more of the earth became known to the common people and more books became available, belief in these creatures dropped dramatically. For example, mermaids continued to be regularly reported as late as the end of the 19th century. But as the 20th century took hold, sightings of mermaids sharply declined. Consequently, the existence of mermaids was relegated from doubtful to dubious, and their status from cryptid to mythical creature was complete. So whereas beings like griffins, leprechauns, gorgons, or vampires may have been speculated to exist at one time, this, in general, is no longer the case. Sure, one may find someone who still believes in, say, fairy folk or mermaids, but such persons are too few and far between. Which leaves us to our last category, fearsome critters. So, to begin, I like to quote Daniel Cohen, prolific author of The Strange and Fantastic, when he said, There is, however, one class of fabulous animal that is peculiarly American and deserves special attention. These are the animals that no one believed in, or no one should have believed in. They are the strange products of tall tales, or, put more simply, outrageous lies. Where cryptids are animals that some believe in, Legendary creatures are animals that are no longer believed in. Fearsome critters, however, are those creatures that no one was supposed to have believed in. The long and short of it is that the only reasons any fearsome critter was said to exist in the first place was simply as a joke. I discussed this in more detail in an earlier video, but at the turn of the last century, Tradesmen such as lumberjacks would tell stories of strange creatures to new recruits as a form of hazing, or to those unfamiliar with the woods, in an attempt to trek them into actually believing that such animals existed. 
Accordingly, fearsome critters were never intended to inspire any sincere conviction, as had been the case with legendary creatures back then, or as the case for cryptids among some. At their core, fearsome critters are a parody of zoology, rather than any attempt to add to it. Fearsome critters include the likes of the jackalope, hoop snake, wampus cat, wing doodle, fur bearing trout, gumbaroo, and many other funny names. So, in review, cryptids, legendary creatures, and fearsome critters are products of folklore, myth, and legend. They are figures created through the process of a story being passed on and retold from one person to the next or at least until the existence of any of them becomes proven. But, for now, cryptids are those animals that some believe in. Legendary creatures are animals that some used to believe in, and fearsome critters are animals put forward simply as a joke. All in all, there are many lenses we can look through to examine these stories. And oftentimes, many choose to get hung up on whether a fantastic creature is real or not. But one such lens to examine stories is folklore, which doesn't try to say a story is cool because it might exist, but rather simply, a story is cool simply because the story is cool. In short, regardless of whether we should believe, want to believe, could believe, and extraordinary creatures. Let it never interfere with the enjoyment of the story. And so, I'm Linwood S. Sharp with Lumberwoods. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for future content. Until we meet again, Carpe Noctum, travelers.